my French Bulldog, Sophie. I'm going to be sharing with you today my experience flying with her in cabin on the plane. I recently took a month long work trip to Florida, so unfortunately I didn't want to board her for that long. You know, before I took her on my trip, I was so nervous on just how well she would do getting through TSA, exactly what bags, there's just a lot you have to make sure you take care of. So. Hopefully this video is helpful. So obviously, first thing is first, go and do your research on which airlines actually allow pets in cabin. Some airlines might say they're pet friendly, but they don't allow pets in cabin. They only allow them in cargo, which is something you definitely want to avoid with French Bulldogs. You do not want them to fly in cargo where they place all the luggage. It's not temperature regulated and it can just give your French Bulldog a lot of anxiety. I personally like to fly Delta and they do allow pets in cabin. I just trust Delta. They are my go-to airline so I made sure to do my research, go on their website and take a look at all of their requirements which was very surprising. They actually didn't have a lot of requirements only that the carrier size, I'll put the dimensions somewhere in here, was like an 18 by 11 and a half by 11 and a half. There was nothing on there about getting a health certificate, about having any documentation, but for my own peace of mind, I made sure to take Sophie to the vet just to give her a general health checkup, make sure she was okay to fly. When they actually issued her a health certificate, I think it cost me about $65. It was just like a general airline health certificate that all vets have um, to issue your dog as an approval to fly on the airline. I also had to make sure that she had a rabies certificate, a rabies vaccine. Surprisingly, Delta still didn't ask for the certificate, but I had it with me just in case. Those are two prerequisites that I made sure to take care of was taking her to the vet, getting her health certificate, and then also just making sure she was up to date on all her vaccinations. The second thing that I would really make a priority of is ordering a carrier at least like a month in advance if you can. I ordered a carrier off of Amazon and when it came in, it actually wasn't the right size and Sophie just didn't fit comfortably in it and I tried getting her to get used to it within like two to three days. She just wasn't budging and so I actually went to Petco, walked around, actually you know, got to see the dimensions of all the other different carriers which is what I would recommend versus ordering it online. I feel like with ordering a carrier online it can look large on the pictures and then when it comes in the mail it can just be very small so i actually will link the pet carrier that i used in the description below i actually got the medium sized carrier i need my dog to be comfortable in it like her comfortability is my priority so it was a little bit larger but it was not hard sided it was a soft sided carrier so you definitely want to make sure it's soft sided that way you can at least like tug the edges under the seat and then what i also did in advance was look up the airline like the actual plane or aircraft I was flying and you can actually check the underseat dimensions for the exact aircraft you're flying on which is extremely helpful so I actually had two flights I had a connecting flight and the first plane was very tiny she actually didn't really fit under the seat but the flight attendants didn't say anything I just kept her at my feet and then the second plane was a much larger aircraft and she actually fit fully underneath the seat that was a relief the flight attendants were very very helpful no one was really nitpicky about her being fully under the seat which is really nice I'll talk more about that later but right now I just really want to share with you the carrier one huge thing is train your dog to spend time in the carrier and to love the carrier Sophie actually hated it when it first came in she was scared of it she really didn't like it and I had to train her to get excited about it and see it as sort of like a toy or a reward I almost forgot to share like the actual carrier on video I don't want to put it on my bed it's kind of gross. Are you so excited? Ooh, you love your carrier, huh? She gets so wound up over it, which is the cutest thing because she used to be so scared of it. This is the carrier that I used. The brand itself is called Sherpa. I got it at Petco. This is the little Delta tag that they give you once you pay at check-in. This is the inside of it. One thing that I really love is that it zips up at the top and it zips up right here. I never really used this part to be honest. I mostly just kept part of this partially zipped up on the aircraft. It comes with 
a liner in there not this one it comes with like this white sherpa liner on the inside and then i added this one in on top of like a pee pad in here There's some pockets in here as well I kept like her poop bags um extra pee pads treats There's a little zipper in here where i kept her dvd treats and then i also put in here paper towels just in case she had an accident but i never had to use them because she was such a good girl i really recommend this carrier i loved it and it has like a little strap here if you want to put it on your luggage only thing with this one is it doesn't have like a long shoulder strap I, again she's too heavy for me so i had to get a dolly to put this thing on and roll her through the airport and i actually work from home so once she was comfortable laying in it i actually put her in there zipped it all up just as if we were in the airport and i would actually work from home with her laying in the carrier underneath my feet i would position it and kind of like role play as if we were on an actual airplane in the same scenario and she loved it she would take a nap in there for about two or three hours while i worked at home on my computer just sitting by my feet second thing that i ordered on top of the carrier was actually a dolly like a luggage dolly because I cannot carry Sophie through the airport. She only weighs about 22 pounds, but it was still too heavy for me. So I actually had to order a separate dolly on Amazon, which was about $40. With Delta, they actually count the carrier as your rolling carry-on luggage. So the only other thing you can have is a personal carrying item. So I just had my purse and then Sophie. So I wasn't gonna do all this but I feel like it's super helpful for you guys just to see kind of like what the setup was. This is the dolly that I used and the only thing that I kind of hated was this but at the same time it kept her bag secure on here from falling off. It folds up which means once I got on the plane I actually could take it off and put it in the overhead bins but it actually unfolds like this and extends. This is so extra of me, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I took her carrier and placed it this way, kind of like this, and then this goes up. Um, and then she just sat here and I rolled her through the airport. I suppose I'll share um, how I get her in the carrier. Really just how easy it is if you practice with your dog. Also input a leash in here just in case she ever tried to jump out, which she didn't, but for my own peace of mind. Yes, are you so excited? Ooh, yes, girly, sit. Sit your booty. Sit your booty. Good girl. Like, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. So yeah, I really just kind of get her excited like that. All right, another thing I'd really recommend buying are calming treats or CBD treats. I will link again in the description below the ones that I use and I gave them to her, I want to say about 30 minutes before boarding. I really feel like that kept her at bay for the most part. As far as pet relief areas, I would say do your research, do your homework and just look up the airport in advance and just know if there's any pet relief areas and where they are in the map, whether it's pre-TSA or after TSA. USA. I flew out of John Wayne Airport so I knew that the pet relief areas were going to be after TSA and she was lovely. It was an outdoor area. Let her out and she went to the bathroom. It was a great place for her to run around and just get herself moving before she had to go back in the carrier. Now, this is probably the part that stressed me out the most was I couldn't find any information on how like the check-in process worked. When I got to the airport I actually got to skip the line and check in before everybody else because i had a pet i even clarified i said this isn't a service animal it's just a pet the lady was like yeah come here come in this separate line check in before everybody you can't check in online if you have a pet you have to go to the front desk they check in your pet you pay uh for delta it was a 95 dollar fee and then they actually just give you like a little luggage tag to put on the carrier and then i had to go over to tsa which was probably another one of the more stressful things i was thinking about once you get to tsa um, you actually have to take your pet out of the carrier you actually just carry your dog manually through like a separate little area of tsa and then by the time we were past tsa i just rolled her through the airport and she had her head sticking out she was just sitting and everyone thought she was the cutest thing but on the way 
back from Florida, I actually did let her out of the carrier in the airport. I didn't walk her outside of it. It's just when we sat and we were waiting for our flight, I took her to a waiting area where no one was around um, and I just let her kind of like walk around. Now getting on the airplane with the little dolly, that was quite the struggle. You actually can pre-board. Even though it's not a service animal, you're allowed to pre-board before everyone else and thank heavens that I was allowed to do this because it really is difficult kind of like unloading the carrier off of the dolly, kind of like putting her underneath the seat. The seats are very narrow so it was a little bit difficult getting her underneath um, and then just hauling everything up so it really is a blessing that they allow people with pets to pre-board. During both flights I actually unzipped the top of the pet carrier and I just let her like sit up. I wanted more air ventilation going in there. She just was so quiet she never barked throughout the entire flight and I think that's one thing too you should know about your own dog is whether you know they're a barker or if they get rambunctious but Sophie is very great behaviorally when we were on the plane she didn't people were she didn't really cry the only thing that really broke my heart was she did get very scared on takeoff and landing it was just very scary for her I think she was trying to like come out of her carrier because she was so startled by the noise on the airplane which is very understandable so the entire time during takeoff and landing um, I just kept my hand in the carrier and I just sort of like massaged her ears like scratched her and just made sure she knew that I was there that was my experience flying with Sophie I personally wouldn't fly with her unless I really had to I think that covered just about everything I feel like that covered questions that I was looking up when I was trying to find information on flying with the French Bulldog if there's a question or anything that I didn't address in this video I definitely am responsive in the comment section if you want to ask a question there so I think I'll wrap up the video thank you so much for watching and feel free to check out any of the other videos or vlogs on my channel.